The suspect search in Pasquotank County is over. Deputies caught up with Bradley Ferris yesterday. He is charged with felony flee to elude arrest and felony possession of a stolen car. Sean Mulford was already in custody. He is accused of using a rifle to fire at a deputy through the car window. Today, deputies were out searching for that rifle. 10 on your side's photojournalist Rob Rizzo continues our coverage. The search for the two suspects is over. Both are in custody. However, law enforcement came back out here today searching for evidence. It was here on Tuesday evening around 6 p.m. near Shady Drive on Main Street Extension in Elizabeth City where deputies attempted a traffic stop. The vehicle was speeding when the pursuit started. And it was on Georgia Drive in the Fox Haven subdivision where the chase ended. Today, two days later, the Pasquotank Sheriff's Office returned searching for evidence. Searching for clothing and the rifle police say Sean Edward Mulford used to shoot at the pursuing deputy. He kind of darted back towards the farm here. Two deputies came down my driveway and, um, and they ended up seeing him cross over, you know, into my cow pasture back there. And then they, uh, they kind of spent a couple hours trying to weed him out. They knew he was kind of back in the swamp and then ultimately they caught him. James Fulcher, owner of Twisted Willow Farm, snapped these pictures of Mulford running through his fields. Hours later, he would be arrested, leaving suspect Bradley Ferris still on the run. He fit the description. He was heavy set and running down the, the road, and I thought, why would he be doing that? There's no broken down car or anything. I thought something was amiss. The very next day, just before 4 in the afternoon, Ferris was spotted at the corner of Berea Church Road in West Main Extension by Mina Watkins, who was sitting on a front porch. She called 911. That's why I called him, because I really just, it, my my gut feeling was something was amiss. It was not right. Ferris was arrested and taken to the hospital and treated for long outdoor exposure. Both Mulford and Ferris did have bond hearings. However, they still remain in jail. In Elizabeth City, Robert Rizzo, 10 on your side.